Right. Not what I ordered. Cool. Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. I'm B. Riley. You can find me over there on Instagram if you want to read up on short stories or reviews that don't make it to the video channel. Do me a favor and make sure you guys smash that like and subscribe button. You'd be helping out the channel a great deal and I would appreciate it very, very much. Today we are actually going to be talking about the new Maestro pedal that has come out, the Ranger Overdrive. I just got this one in a couple days ago um, because I was actually due up to replace my MXR 78 uh, Badass Distortion. I was having a little bit of a trouble with that pedal. It was giving me this kind of weird high frequency distortion that you could pick up uh, through a microphone pretty easily and I could hear it on stage and it was bothering me so I went ahead and ordered one of these. In this particular case I actually kind of needed this in a time sensitive manner. I had a bunch of sessions and the variation between the sessions was as such that I needed an overdrive uh, to change the tone out and build a bit of mids into the rig that I was using for those particular sessions. Now first off Let's go ahead and talk about the build quality on this thing. Um, usually I would leave the build quality out on something like a pedal, but admittedly lately, I've actually purchased a couple pedals that were quite terrible. And I feel like if I had had a chance to look at them up close and in person um, before throwing down my credit card, I probably would have walked away from them. But I can say this, that when this one actually popped up in the mail, um, it was quite impressive. It's very substantial feeling. Everything on it, the potentiometers and the switches are all very substantial feeling. It feels like I'm sitting in a German car from the 1960s and flipping toggle switches. It's very much of that aesthetic and feel. Uh, everything that is put together on the box and on the casing is really nice. They everything about it just feels good. It, it feels quality made. There's no gaps on it. It doesn't do anything kind of hinky, which is great. And uh, these mini switches, they always scare the hell out of me because for some reason, I don't know why, I always break those. Call me crazy. Plus the horns light up. say range what I mean is the variation of tone that you can get from this pedal you know how different can you make it? how many variations can you make I mean but it's an overdrive so really it's, there's going to be a limited amount of variation of, of tonal variation that you can get from this thing uh, it's not a one-trick pony but it definitely means to be so there's something for you to consider the thing that I really like about the tone on this is is that when you run it through the AC 30 with a humbucker behind it you know you start to get mm, hints of Brian May especially if you've got the tone uh, roll back a little bit on the guitar or the volume down to about seven or eight where that high end kind of falls off uh, You're definitely getting a lot of Queen vibes from that. That's not a bad thing. I'm okay with that. That's cool So one less thing to worry about there uh, At the same time you can throw it through the twin reverb that's behind me and you can get a lot of really cool country tones stuff that I wasn't comfortable getting before because maybe my pedal setup was just not really complimenting that type of playing uh, but I have noticed that lately, when I've got the twin reverb and I'm using either my Tully or my Strat, that you've got a lot of that kind of Nashville twang, 
which is pretty cool because uh, I've been listening to a lot of like the Bakersfield country from the 70s and dead and stuff like that lately. So it's kind of nice to be able to jump in and get that type of tone on demand. Really, really like that. Uh, when you run it through the Marshall, everything turns into ACDC, uh, especially because I've been using the SG through the half stack lately. Um, so obviously that's going to tint my playing. But um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that it's interesting that you don't get a huge amount of variation on the controls, but depending on what guitar or what amp you're putting through it, it very rapidly adapts to that signal, wakes up, and does an excellent, excellent job. Another thing I like about this, tonally, I can stack pedals through this, fuzz pedals, all kinds of stuff, ahead of the signal on this, and this will totally take it. It totally takes all of those tones that are kind of sitting in funny places and compresses them, drops them right down into a nice tight space where it's controllable and where the substance of the chords are not falling apart if you're doing anything too ornate. Uh, there's a lot of structure in this pedal. It's, it's like gluten for your sound. It just kind of takes it and stuffs it all down into a nice tight ball where you can cut through on the mix when you're playing live, even if you've got another guitar player or two going. Uh, but at the same time, when you jump over to the solos, it doesn't get thin. And I gotta be honest, that MXR distortion, that 78 distortion, was killing me that way. I would move from chord work over to solo work, and it would just get really thin on me really fast. And if I tried to thicken up the signal with a clean boost ahead of the pedal, the second I went back to chord work, it was just, it was just muddy and, and mixed up and really not working for itself. So in the range uh, and tone bracket on this pedal, I would definitely go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Definitely go for that. How much does this cost? Well, I paid 160 to have this thing shipped to my door. And if I do say so, uh, I have to actually throw out a huge shout out to Vic over at Rainbow Guitars in Tucson, Arizona. I let him know that this was a time sensitive issue, that I had sessions coming up where I had to use this for work. And he literally overnighted it to me and it showed up the next day on my doorstep. So big thanks to Vic over at Rainbow Guitars in Tucson, Arizona. Good on you, really pulled me out of the fire on that one. It sounded great last night, and it did, because you got this thing to me quick. So huge shout out to Vic, cheers. Um, for 160 bucks, we're talking about the thing that's connecting your guitar to your amp. I mean, we spend so much money on these guitars. I mean, I've spent $100 on pickguard material because I'm very, very finicky that way. And at the same time, I've spent a grand on an amp at any one point in time, sometimes more. And uh, I always find it interesting. It's kind of like an hourglass. We have all of this gear over here and all of these guitars over here. And in between them, this narrow field in which we put all this signal through this one little pedal. And, you know, it tends to be the cheapest piece of equipment that we spend money on. So for this, 160 bucks, given the amount of tone that it's got, 
given the type of different noises that you can get out of this pedal using all kinds of different amps and guitars that all respond really, really well to it, I would say 160 bucks ain't bad to open up the spectrum and really allow all of your different gear to be able to be used with that pedal board and have it come off so good is really good. So, you know, something for you guys to consider there. Price is great. The tone is awesome. The build quality is good. I'm not typically the type of person to run to Gibson's aid and talk about how rad they are all the time, but the brutal honest truth of it is, is that this is just a great pedal. And I figured I'd share it with you. So hopefully you guys dug it. Um, anyway, thank you guys for supporting the channel so much. I really appreciate it. Your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. And uh, if you haven't hit the subscribe button yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. It's fun. The word is written in red which is always nice. Red's my favorite color, in case you hadn't noticed by the way of the couch. Thanks for helping out. Really, really appreciate it. Usually when I throw out reviews, I only throw out reviews if I'm really, really digging the gear or if it's just so obnoxiously bad that it's almost funny to play it or to talk about it. You know, so um, let me know what you guys are looking for in the comments. You know, if you guys dig more reviews, then we can do more reviews and talk about that sort of stuff. I know that we have a review coming up with the Keeley Caverns V2. Um, kind of surprised by that one. I think uh, it would be interesting to get you guys input on that one and how you feel about it if you've used it so far because there's an issue with it that I'm having and I'm wondering if anybody else is having it as well. Uh, anyway, I will see you guys next week. Have a beautiful day. Go play loud music. Get one of these. Plug it in. It's fun. Okay, and uh, we will see you guys next time.